Why, hello and sod, dudes! Welcome to another edition of Overwatch In-Depth Stats. This is a series where we take a look at all of the number-related information on each character in Overwatch. Links and references are down below. Without further ado, let's get started on today's episode. Today, we'll be taking a look at the defensive hero, Mei. Being a defensive hero, Mei has a decent chunk of HP. Her hit point value comes in at a rather solid 250. This is the second highest in her class and makes her rather bulky when used in conjunction with her abilities. Mei's primary weapon is the Endothermic Blaster. This weapon has two different fire modes, each with different stats. The first type of fire on the endothermic blaster is the frost stream, which can be used to slow down and freeze an enemy. Ammo capacity on the frost stream is a solid 200. The damage on this weapon can be a bit difficult to quantify, however, each projectile that hits will do 2.25 damage, which equates to around 45 damage per second. The weapon will freeze an enemy after doing a total of 70 damage, and the freeze will last for a total of 1.5 seconds. Something to note, after 2 seconds of not targeting an enemy, it will reset the time it takes to freeze that target. Fire rate on the frost stream comes in at 20 rounds per second. The range at which you can use this weapon is 10 meters. I couldn't find the exact stat for reload speed, however, in my testing it was around one second. Additionally, because of the dynamic of this weapon, there is no headshot multiplier. May's secondary fire on the endothermic blaster is the icicle projectile. This is May's primary means of damage. The icicle projectile shares the same ammo capacity of the frost stream at 200. However, each icicle will use up 25 rounds. Damage on the icicle projectile comes in at a very nice 22 at maximum range and 75 at close range. The fire rate is 1.8 rounds per second. Finally, something very important to know for this fire mode is that it does have Overwatch's headshot multiplier of 2.0. Now let's talk about May's first ability, the Cryo Freeze. May instantly surrounds herself with a block of thick ice. She heals and ignores damage while encased, but cannot move or use abilities. The Cryo Freeze lasts for a total of 4 seconds. This ability will heal 150 health points of May when used for the full duration. The cooldown on this ability is 12 seconds, meaning you won't be able to spam it, and you'll have to use it when the right situation calls for it. May's second ability is the Ice Wall. May generates an enormous ice wall that obstructs lines of sight, stops movement, and blocks attacks. Once generated, the Ice Wall will last for 4 seconds unless Unless otherwise destroyed. The ice wall consists of five pillars. Each of these pillars has 500 hit points of health, meaning it will take a while for someone to individually take the wall down. The cooldown on the ice wall is 10 seconds long. Finally, let's discuss May's ultimate, Blizzard. Blizzard is an incredibly effective way of killing enemies off an objective or to help your team advance further. Blizzard will do 97 damage or about 19 and a half damage per second. The cast time on Blizzard is one and a half seconds. Once casted, Blizzard will last for a total of 5 seconds and it will take 3.5 seconds to freeze an enemy within the given radius, which is 8 meters. That will do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. Again, links are down below to all references and anyone who helped me capture footage. So, on the left we have a playlist to all of the in-depth stats videos I've done so far, and on the right will be a link to our next episode, which will be on the tank hero, Roadhog.